If you didn't know by now, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is rife with secrets to find, hidden tricks that the game doesn't tell you about because that's part of the fun, and more than a few awesome things to discover. We're going to highlight some of the more useful secrets to the game's mechanics and look at the cooler easter eggs. Be warned though, slight spoilers are inbound. Arrow Recovery Arrows are extremely helpful in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, especially early on when taking on multiple foes from a distance. If you're worried about running out, then there are a couple of ways to circumvent this. Firstly, if you have a wooden shield, then any arrow shot at it will stick to it. They can be claimed later when the enemy archer has been slain. Dodging enemy arrows will also allow you to pick them up later, and if your own arrows miss, then they can be collected, provided you find them, of course. Like a cat. There are some battles that will literally blow you away, because, well, that's how explosions work. If you find yourself overwhelmed and want to immediately get back on your toes, then pop the paraglider while in midair. This will allow you to reduce the overall falling animation time, leading to faster recovery and perhaps even a better fighting chance. Selfies It's possible to take pictures in Breath of the Wild, and you'll want to do so frequently because, hey, this game is gorgeous, but who needs to admire Mother Nature when you can take selfies? With the rune active, press X and you'll be able to click various vain images of our hero. Even better, Link has 8 different poses which can be activated with the left analog stick or ZL plus left analog stick. Hopefully, Zelda doesn't catch you uploading these to Facebook wondering why you're taking your sweet time to rescue her. Bone Boomerangs Stalfos are annoying enemies, as anyone who's played Ocarina of Time while in Hyrule Field at night will attest to. In a callback to the same, Stalfos will emerge from the ground at night and attack you. Knocking off their heads causes them to search around for their missing body parts. Those same body parts can be used as weapons, but in an interesting twist, you can actually take a Stalai Zalfos' arm and throw it like a boomerang. Yes, it will actually return to you upon throwing it. Shield Surfing Of the many ways to travel in Breath of the Wild, shield surfing is perhaps the coolest. Link will essentially prop up his shield and use it like a surfboard for limited periods of time. You can even execute tricks like a 1080 degree spin, cowabunga, surfs up, and all that jazz. Make sure you have a pretty sturdy shield though. They allow shield surfing over longer distances and won't lose their durability on rocky surfaces as quickly as lesser shields. Swim Faster Sometimes, Link just has to get naked. No, not completely naked, which doesn't seem to be possible. Anyway, in Breath of the Wild, much like in real life, Link will swim faster if he has no armor on. Also, approaching NPCs with barely any clothes on will result in awkward reactions, but the swimming is where it's at, for sure. Special Pain Animation You probably enjoy seeing Link in pain. In that case, there's a special animation that occurs when opening treasure chests. Simply try opening it without any leg armor and Link will go through this animation. But seriously, cut the guy some slack. He already has to save Hyrule from this whole calamity nonsense. Cliffhanger Like a lot of things in Zelda, climbing can be extremely hazardous to your health. Managing your stamina is of utmost importance, but there are times where it seems like you just don't have enough. However, it's possible to cover even more distances when your stamina is in the red than normally. Perform a jump when your stamina is in the last red section, and Link will cover twice the distance of a normal jump. It's good for dramatic moments at least or that last sliver of hope before you inevitably plummet to your death. Shooting Stars We're not talking about the One Republic song, which is actually counting stars, but that's not the point. There are actual shooting stars in Breath of the Wild. More importantly, if you head to wherever they land, you can recover star fragments. These are useful in certain recipes and can even be taken to great fairies to upgrade certain equipment. Guess you should stop counting rupees and start counting stars, right? Kukos Kukos make their return and are as violent as ever. Strike a Kuko too many times and it will summon a herd of Kukos to annihilate you. However, sometimes upon hitting a Kuko, it will lay an egg. Risk slash reward, right? Alternatively, if you want to see an enemy lynched by Kukos, simply throw one at them. They'll proceed to hit the Kuko, thus summoning the swarm of Hellbirds to their position. Let it not be said that Breath of the Wild doesn't allow for creative murder. Fire Immunity Fire is bad and can often hurt. Real knowledge bomb, right? It's possible to have immunity to fire with a level 2 Flame Breaker armor set, but until you get that, there is an easier way to make Link flame retarded. Jump in the water, step out, and voila! Link can endure fire for a brief period of time. It may not be the most practical way to battle flames, but it could help out in a pinch. Mysterious Text Translation Breath of the Wild has its own language, which has been translated into English thanks to erstwhile fans. In the beginning of the game, when Link activates the Plateau's tower and takes the map data for his Sheikah Slate, you'll see these mysterious markings. 
According to a translation of the text, you get the message, master using it, and you can have this. This is a callback to the very first Zelda, where the old man delivers the same message, offering upgrades to your sword when you have a certain number of heart containers. That's not the only reference to Zelda 1 that you'll find though. The Legend of Zelda Artwork Nostalgia In one of the original pieces of artwork for the first Legend of Zelda, we see Link on a cliff overlooking Hyrule. Mountains are off in the distance, and forests can be seen below. With the number of references that are made, it's only fitting that Breath of the Wild has artwork calling back to the first games. An official artwork released shows Link standing on a cliff in the same crouching pose, overlooking a ruined wall, forest, and peering at the mountains in the distance. In a way, Breath of the Wild is sort of capturing the vision that the original artwork laid out. Satoru Iwata Tribute Satoru Iwata lives on in Breath of the Wild. At some point, you'll run into a character named Botrick who bears a very strong resemblance to the former Nintendo president. Botrick will offer to help you with the Lord of the Mountain and the riddle behind it, even having some items to sell. That's not all though. When you encounter the Lord of the Mountain mount, it's possible to take a picture. The description tells you how the creature is the reincarnation of a sage that died on the lands, and it's known sometimes by the name Satori. Coincidence? We think not. All your base. Remember those Hylian markings we were talking about before? Somewhere in Breath of the Wild, there's Hylian text that can translate to all your base are. For the uninitiated, this is a reference to the quote from Zero Wing, in which Kat says rather infamously, all your base are belong to us. This badly translated quote has pretty much made history, and of the many things that Nintendo refuses to let die, this is certainly one of the funniest. That'll be it for this video. If you like what we're doing, please go ahead and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.